Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Just recently, a couple of viewers had some problems with printers like the Epson 3800 and other similar type printers, 3880, R3000, P600, P800. We won't talk about this one today. Basically, these are stationary cartridge printers, meaning the cartridges do not move. They stay put. They feed ink to the printhead via hoses, lines. And these lines are glued together into one belt or two belts, depending on the type of printer. Now, if you are running original cartridges, you really don't have much to worry about, except, of course, the old rule. You need to print, print, print to keep a printer such as that from clogging. If you don't print for a month, two months, three months, you can expect to have to run some cleaning cycles to clear some clogs. And in most cases, these clogs appear as a few missing lines in your pattern when you run a nozzle check. Now, each little line corresponds to one single nozzle. Do not call a channel a nozzle. A channel is composed of maybe several hundred nozzles. Each nozzle is one little opening or orifice in your microscopic array of little holes that spit out ink. So remember that a nozzle is not a channel. A nozzle is just one of many little holes where the ink basically comes out and it is applied to the paper. Now, if you ever get totally blank channels, basically not even a single line, that means two things. Either the channel is shot, electronically damaged, and is not firing at all. It's receiving the signals, but it's not responding. And that can be very, very rare. Most of the time when you get a fairly blank channel, let's just say 95, 98% blank, and you're using one of these printers, and better yet, you are refilling rather than using original cartridges, then it's very likely that you forgot something. You may have left that cartridge to be declared completely empty by the chip. And sure, there shouldn't be a problem with that, but there is. The reason being is that the chips are not accurate and the cartridges do not hold as much ink as the original OEM cartridges do. The reason being there's a lot of internal baffles to keep the outer walls firmly without moving, because remember these cartridges have to be pressurized. So there are some internal walls and baffles and these take up room. The cartridges, the dimensions are the same as the original ones, but there's less room internally for ink. There is no ink bag like your original cartridges have and utilize. And that is advantageous and I will explain why in a bit. So what happens is that you're only actually able to load about 70 milliliters of ink instead of the 90 that an original OEM cartridge can hold. Your chip is calibrated for 80. You still have 90 though. And so what happens is that ink bag, which is filled with ink and is being used up, the ink bag shrinks, remember it's pressurized, it will never run out of ink. Okay, it will never come to the point where it's 100% collapsed. You cannot do that to those printers. There will be damage if the bag would ever collapse. Okay, so it always stays with the last 10 ml of ink as it is declared empty. You remove it and you replace it with a new one. And unbeknownst to you, you're throwing away 10 milliliters of ink. Now, a refillable cartridge only holds 70. So your chip, remember these chips are auto reset. They have to be allowed to reach empty before they will be reset. And the resetting is done by simply removing the cartridge, filling it with ink and popping it back in. That will reset the chip. That can only happen after the chip is declared empty, not before that, okay? And here is the problem. When the chip becomes empty, 
the cartridge became empty quite a while ago. Okay, quite a while ago. And what have you been injecting into your inclines? Air. Air has been entering your inclines and air does not print. Believe me. So you may end up with a damper that's a little tiny ink holder or little tiny cartridge-like device that lives inside your printhead unit. And that will hold, for instance, yellow ink. If that yellow cartridge refillable is allowed to go empty because you're relying on the chip to be accurate, which it will not be, you will end up with a prematurely physically empty cartridge, okay, that will then begin to inject air. An ink bag cannot do that. An ink bag does not have air in it. It has nothing but ink and it never actually empties itself. So with OEM cartridges, you will never run into that problem of accidentally injecting air into your system. What to do? Well, you already lost something very important in your refillable cartridge. What might that be, you ask? Your priming. Let me explain what you don't have to do with OEM. With OEM, you take off the plug on the pressurizing stem and pop it right in and you are ready to roll. Once it becomes pressurized, you're ready to print. Not with these. When you fill these, you have to prime it. And whether you can see or not, there are some chambers in here. Let me get up real close. Right here that have to be filled with ink. And the only way to do that is to prime it. And you remove this plug right here. This is part of the instructions when you get these cartridges. You remove the plug. Of course, before you use it, you have to remove the pressurizing plug. You take a plain tip syringe such as this. You see that? It doesn't have a screw type tip, a plain tip. You insert it in that opening there tightly and you just pull back. Assuming, of course, you have filled that with ink. You pull back, you'll get nothing but air and all of a sudden you get liquid ink coming out. Remove it, plug it, add the ink back into your cartridge, okay? Now your cartridge is primed. Now you can proceed, assuming you have a full cartridge of ink, to run deep cleaning cycles, preferably not too many in a row, one at a time, and then run a nozzle check immediately after each cleaning cycle. Do not do more than three in a row. Let the printer rest. Keep topping off the cartridges. That's what got you into trouble to begin with, not paying attention and relying on those chips. That's what got you in this situation on my P800. I am running refillables because I am lucky enough to have obtained a P800 with an early enough firmware that allows that chip decoder board to actually work. And it provides you with 30 resets on all the cartridges at once. But in order to be able to use that accurately, because remember the chips will expect to have 80 milliliters of ink, but you really only have 70. So you have to make sure that when they reach a certain level, maybe maybe like halfway down, top everything off. Top everything off to the top. Put the plugs back in. Put the cartridges back in. And now the chips say, hey, I'm, I'm at 50%. But physically, you have 100% ink volume in that cartridge. As much as the cartridge can hold, which is not as much, of course, as OEM. It actually holds 20 ml less than an OEM cartridge. And we're talking about 3800, 3880, and P800. And if someday we can ever refill the P900, the same thing, although those will be only 50 milliliters. Forget about that for a while. I don't think anything of the sort is going to come down the pike for us concerning those printers. So that is it. Not much you can do. Once you, once you fall in that hole, you just gotta dig yourself out. Again, a complete channel missing two reasons. Either the channel is electronically damaged and that cannot be fixed, or you run out of ink. You run out of ink and now you have air in the system. And that will only happen ever if you are not using OEM cartridges. In other words, the ones you buy 
you use and you dispose of. These you refill, and these have to be constantly refilled. Do not ever let them go to the point where they empty themselves out before the chip says it's empty. And the chip has to go empty before it can be reset. Okay? It's a, it's a, it's a one-way street here, sort of. So keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, this weekend will be a good one. We'll have Mike Lee with us. So make sure you join us this Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time USA. So we'll see you then. Happy printing, everybody. And bye-bye.